The reason I'm here is to tell a little story. When I was about 10 years old, my father actually gave me money for Christmas because that's what I asked for. And he took me to the local bookstore and he turned me loose and he said, I'll meet you in half an hour. And I had riches untold, it was like 20 bucks. Two of the things I bought, I still have The Last Unicorn and A Fine and Private Place. And I still read them. Peter was an inspiration to my daughter and was the first author um, we ever exposed her to, and she's now a fantasy writer herself. If I had to say one thing about The Last Unicorn, it's, it's appropriate for the times today. It, there's a lot of analogy in it um, to just mortality and life and death. And it works. Well, it's just, I read it for the first time in the 70s, and I just, I loved the book. And I already even said to Peter, my favorite part of the book is when Lear um, tells what it means to be a hero. Thank you. Uh, the book completely changed my life. It was the, f everyone says that, but it's the first adult book I ever read. And in many ways, like a lot of books out there, it definitely got me started with fantasy. And now I'm a successful writer, so thank you. I came here from New Jersey. I flew out uh, solely to meet Peter because out of all like the movies in my entire life that I've seen the most, uh, The Last Unicorn was it. So I probably watched it daily since I was five up until like 13. And I believe it truly shaped my imagination as to who I am today. So it's awesome. I loved that movie deeply as a kid and um, it was a big part of the blueprint that made up my personality growing up. I grew up watching the movie with my sister and we had a lot of happy memories with it and favorite character would be the cat and uh, I met Peter and he's really awesome. Peter is like everyone's favorite uncle that they never had. Thank you Peter.